All right, well, here goes the last of my cattails because uh, the blizzard lasted from... That's That was almost a 12-hour blizzard. And I cannot believe how long it lasted. Just kept going. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do, really, other than, I guess, uh, eat, uh, smash some dog food open. Don't want to, but, uh, I've got to get the calories. got to keep myself somewhat fed. I've been, that's, yeah, but it's been over 12 hours of me waiting for that blizzard to stop. And, uh, this is what I don't understand about the, uh, weather variability does that actually mean anything because it's supposed to be high so you'd figure over 14 hours I'd have a change in weather and not just uh, recurred back-to-back -back blizzards but uh, cause that was pretty it was pretty hard on my resources to have to sit through that Well, any wolves? Oh, so far, no. Glove box. I'm looking for gloves. Matches. Chocolate bar. All right. Any movement? Let's get on in here and see what we got. Well, that was nice to find those extra matches. And the chocolate bar always helps. All right. Yep, keep going forward. get in here before I start freezing to death. Chances are there won't be a a blizzard. So we'll have a quick look around in here. I don't imagine there's going to be too much. If I'm real lucky, you can find me a can opener. That's what I'm really looking for in this joint. Toilet water in here. Maybe a pair of gloves in something. That would be nice. Somebody left a, a pair of gloves at their desk. Take it. All the food. Let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, painkillers. That's a nice touch. The 
book. Hopefully somebody else has been snacking at work. safe is usually got nothing good. Oh, somebody threw in a pair of perfectly good mittens. And that's why you need to search things. Because things are really coming together there. Alright, so have we been back in here? No, sometimes there's a pry bar back in this area. Hey, chocolate. Oh, that can stay there. So I found some mittens. Come on, yeah. Michael York's been finding toque after toque after toque. And my parasite guy, exactly what he wants to find is just one more toque would be great. I'm running out of places to loot with that guy. Okay. A little bit of cloth. Empty metal container. quick. Ugh. Low on the toilet water. We got barely a liter between the two of them. Alright. 24%. 200 calories left. Nobody ever leaves you a soda in that one. I'm just kind of hoping for daylight. Oh. Hey, more matches. Take them. Just really hoping somebody actually, you know, snacks at work. Exactly. You know, you come up here, you search through a few drawers, you find potentially 350 save life saving calories right there and some jerky. You know? And matches, well, I'm gonna really not, not value them as much as normal. Sure, a piece of scrap metal, why not? But don't put that out. Now, I really gotta hope that the uh, rope is in that rail car. Okay, and how are you? You got a coat in there for me? No. That's my torch. Oh, my torch is running out. That's okay. Who else snacks at work? Come on, snacking at work. Coffee. We got a coffee fan up here? Anywhere? You look like you're the guy in the corner. You look like you drink coffee. Oh. What would the big boss do? Do you drink coffee? Torch is just about finished here.
Oh, no. Ah. Nobody else like coffee. Wait a second. What, do I have another torch? I did have another torch. Oh, well. It's what... You find a bunch of matches, and then everything's just fine. I thought that that was my last and only torch, was the one that I made, so... Yeah, well. Normally on Interloper, I would say don't do that. And if you're doing the Forlorn Muskeg Challenge, don't ever do that. That's a, that's a tough one. Not a lot of matches. So 350 calories is what I managed to get out of coming up here. Which, which it cost me half of that, looking through all of these. But I gotta say, I'm happy I looted the dam because now I have mittens. It's a little bit extra, you know? I was really hoping for somebody to like the coffee in this in this office area. Now, let's see here. Do I have yet another torch? I do. Okay, so that's good. Let's go throw a quick little barbecue here. It's tough. These these uh, fire barrels are a pain. They don't like to cooperate like they used to. Okay. I'm gonna cook up some some deer and uh, I'll see you in a couple minutes I guess when we're all ready to go again to uh, the ravine I'm gonna go check for that rope I guess Okay, so that's nice. She's nice and full. Let's check the journal. Ah, six days. So four days survived. I gotta go two more. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to get into the ravine now. Whoa, well, yeah. Doesn't really matter. Don't need, don't need to be looking around a dark room. Uh, sure. These, that could come in handy. And the fact that it'd be a little later in the day come in handy. Oh, it sounds awful out there, though. Oh. Actually won't be too bad at all. So, 
Yes, no decoys. That's good. Fairly important that I do grab some extra. Because, I mean, if I've got a couple of hours of fire on me, and I find a few more hours of fire, fuel, I guess, uh, fire time, I can, I can make it. Well, I don't see the wolf, so... Let's continue to pretend he's not there. Should be trying to get some sleep. Yeah, halfway exhausted. But with the weather this nice. No, no, go ahead. Treat yourself. With the weather this nice, I would like uh, to at least see if the rope's in this train. So I've got saplings somewhere? They'll be in there somewhere. Some birch. There's a deer. Coming real close and personal like. Let's see if I can find a Yeah, sure. Let's see if I can find a lump of coal on the way. through all my calories either. Indeed, hmm. What to do? Well, now I gotta get back to the trailer. to do from there. Okay, so the saplings should be either off over there or pretty much right in front of me. Not seeing them. Or they might be back towards that cave. Well, hopefully the, uh, hopefully you don't irritate a wolf there, Mr. Deer. So at least I know there's food there.
Ah, uh, morning dove. Hmm. So. Okay. Just in case there's a scrap of food in here. Once once upon a time, some matches spawned in here. Like on the in this crate. Not this time around. So nobody decided to just leave the turkey uh piece of food or anything at all anywhere no okay well here's to hoping I don't get mauled as soon as I go at the front door here okay it's a nice day for a walk So let's go to the summit. Have enough time for a gut? I've got enough time for two guts. All right, bit ambitious to be going and trying for the summit right now, but let's let's try it anyway. Halfway to exhausted. Well, if I don't find the bedroll at the back of that, uh, the back of the cave there, I'm in real trouble. But uh, I think I'm in real trouble. So why not? Why not just be in real trouble? Uh, you know what? That's good for wolves. Pretty good for wolves. And I've got enough lantern fuel on me, so I'm good for now. I'm gonna hold on to the old hammer. Yeah, I go on this exhausted, and now this hungry is pretty. Please don't poison me. That wrecks all my plans for the evening. around in here for food so there might be something you know out and about yeah, it's too bad they removed the uh, <clears throat> take the rope from the dam that was a that was a great one let's see what this guy's got one time he had beef jerky and a windbreaker. This time, not so much. So by going to Timberwolf, I'm going to actually go to um, Pleasant Valley as well. Well, that's nice. Oh, 
I've never found anything in this microwave, and it opens so weirdly. Oh yeah, empty. Sound, you bet. All right, let's go. Wouldn't want to keep the wolves waiting. Some crunchy sound and pavement. Oh, and if you uh, fall down into this little hole over here, um, you just fall down into a little hole. It's actually nothing major. Nothing bad happens to you. Now, let's see. Let's see if I can remember this. Yes. So, thank you, Miss Gams. Oh, I'd love to just grab some deer meat and run, but I have a feeling I'll get killed. Well, it's too bad about that rope not being where it needed to be. I guess I could have probably scaled down this, the cliff uh, a little faster. Save me some time outside. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm being so darn quiet, but... All I keep thinking is, I have 24% health. I got a feeling that even with my mighty hammer, I won't be doing much wolf fending off if it comes down to it. Okay. There we go. I was going to say, one of these times I'm going to pass over a stick and manage to pick it up. Uh, it doesn't look like I get a bedroll up ahead here. Eh. Oh, I do. Well, there we go. That'll help me. Help me get around at least. Okay. And with all the crow activity up here, I hope there's something decent. Mushroom to round up my collection. There it is. You don't happen to have a hatchet, do you?
Well, that's generally it. There's a, those crows and these crows, and I've got myself a maple saddle. Okay, well, I've got one more maple sapling than I had before. Hey, buddy. Go. Let's kick out this fancy new bedroll here. Yeah, we'll risk three hours. Why not? Right, feels like zero, but she's pretty warm, at least warm enough to get to where she needs to go. Yes, so my apologies, especially to Miss Gams, about uh, entering the wrong code there and showing it off. Um, yes, there was supposed to be a a a my a plus sign instead of a T. Uh, you know what? Get rid of those. Okay. Yeah, if I if my uh, my penmanship was a little nicer, we'd have been able to get through that. We can put in the right code the first time, which I don't imagine would have changed that run for me very much. He's still alive, or she's still alive, and doing actually uh, better than this this person. I'll probably actually, uh, when this person expires, I'll probably uh, continue this, um, that run without the bears, the one without the bears. So it's basically Dead Man's Challenge almost with uh, no bears. But um, it's, I don't think the, it's not the bears. It's not the bears that do it to you. Now that I've got a bedroll, I don't need to be tired. So that's good. A few cattails to get her through the night. She's tired. So we'll get in here where it's warm. If there is a um, carcass up here, I really hope there is. I'm going to eat it and just completely deal with this. Oh yes, I'm warming up though. That's good. So we can harvest that without using fire time. Right. I did pick up a piece of wood.
So we got a piece of fur. Excellent. So let's see here. If I put it there. Wood matches. Got a lot of lamp oil, so we can we just get that dealt with. Uh, some reclaimed I can throw on. Piece of fur. All right. So. Dangerous stuff. 27 minutes. All right. So I can get a gut. Harvest that up while it cooks. Wonderful. Set that down. Eat that. Oh, are you kidding me? I ate it raw, didn't I? I thought it was finished. That's silly. Is this, yes, it's killing me. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, good job. Leave that. Have a drink. Darn it. I just poisoned myself to make it harder, I guess. Um, now, I don't think I lose condition well. Um. Recovering from food poisoning. <clears throat> yeah, as if I did that. I thought I was totally in the clear and I probably let that water boil away to nothing too. Yep. Well there we go. I got a couple of guts curing here too. Do I grab the hide? Oh no well that that's that the end of that. So now I have just as many calories as before I had food poisoning. But now my condition went from 24% to 16. Okay, well, odds are I'm not going to make it much longer. However, look at that. Five days survived. I'm almost making my record here. All right, let's, um... Yeah. Let's get that on the Wow. I, I should have just went and laid down right away. Yes. This playing with no condition recovery is really messing with me. Because I didn't... Uh, I didn't think that once you drank the tea, you were just absolutely destroyed by food poisoning with, for, with your condition. I thought that that slowed it down. I didn't know I was going to lose 8% there in the half hour it took me to uh, harvest that gut. That was a big hit. So...
So it went badly for me, that part did. Peaches, I'll take those. All right. Well, let's see if I can get to the signal tower without dying. I haven't really been keeping my eye out for coal too much, but I haven't seen even one piece, so it makes me wonder if... Is this one of the areas where there's no coal, or... or... or what? Because I don't think every cave has coal. Let's see what happens when we go out here. We're going to head to Cracker Cave right away, I'm telling you that. But first, first and foremost, wow, that is windy. We're going to go back inside here. Sounds like it's dying off, though, so that's pretty good. We go back in here. I'm going to stand right about here where I can see it nice and clear. We're going to set this down. So that's curing. Uh, and that's good too. So there we go. We got those on the go. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so no dead guy. Let's see a bear. Whoa, we don't want to quite do that. Just wanted to see if it hurt me, that's all. Doing a little bit of light reading, were ya? Odd thing to... Odd thing to do. Yeah. Okay, so she's not overly warm. Yeah, there they are. My crackers. Not much is happening in here. Is there any pieces of coal embedded in the floor back in this area? A little boost for a warm-up. Actually, while I'm standing here and I'm still warm, I can eat one of these. Yeah, we'll eat two of them. Gonna say there should be wolves. Should see wolves. Oh, 
Enough crawling around in the snow. Oh. Let's hopefully get to the signal tower without losing any condition. What, me? You should sing to your friend. Take a moment. Good, there's a deer up here. Hopefully I don't poison myself with it. That wasn't my brightest moment. And, uh... I mean, you know me, why make it easy on myself, right? I'm not gonna do that. I, I refuse. I refuse. If I can kill myself a little bit more, why not add to the challenge? Completely not what I meant to do. And no, I'm not gonna try to get onto Team Gutworm. Hey, it's a piece of fabric. The cool thing about this place is I know... Ooh, painkillers. Ooh, bandages. Is I know that there's food. Hey, there's that coffee I've been looking for. Another toque. Coffee. The can opener I desperately needed. Got some sardines. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sure, we're right on there. Sardines. 47%. Guaranteed food poisoning, that is. What's this here? We got a got another hammer. Bring it out a little bit. Lay it down over here. Here somewhere. Got no combat pants. Doesn't look like. But this place is pretty good for a piece or two of clothing. So I'm not. Not giving up yet. Hey, combat boots. I don't want them. Um, because, here I'll show you. The combat boots. Worn combat boots. They're way colder. They're heavier. They give you a 10% and a little bit less sprint. But, uh, I guess they're a little more waterproof, but really, I would prefer the uh, extra half degree of, of, of warmth. So, we're just going to let those go. And now I got a couple of pieces of clothing that I can fix up. Uh, or at least uh, a couple of pieces of clothing that I can, uh, just hoping for a flare. Oh, actually, you know what? It might be... Yes! A flare. Very rarely do they save your life. Hey, more mittens.
Well, kind of a, kind of a crushing, a uh, bit of a crushing bit with the uh, no clothes of any real value in this place. But you know what? I might get a ski jacket or something like that at the uh, other place. So, so let's have a have a look and see what I've got here. Well, actually, I can eat these, and I'll get the full amount. That's great. All right, well, I'll see you next time when I'm heading down to the farmhouse. And, uh, yeah, it keeps surviving. And until then, I'll uh, hopefully see you. And, uh, geez, I don't know. This is a hard one to wrap my head around. Journal says... Five days survived. Okay, it seems like a forever eternity. So, all right, from here, I'm just going to get on down to the farmhouse. It's a good time of day to do it, so. Let's see. Yeah, 16%. Dear 